with our iPhone TV, MTK Global Women's Undefeated Talent, Jimmy Cooper. We're here today for the announcement of Ultimate Boxer. Uh, Jimmy, firstly, it's a little while since we've been caught up. How have you yeah. been keeping? Yeah, all good, James. Cheers, good. mate. Good. Uh, how did you happen to be involved in this tournament, Ultimate Boxer, then, Jim? What, what's going on? Um, well, to be honest with you, I started off with Peter Sims, and uh, I just got, I, I was un unbeaten, and I just got homesick in London. And to be honest, I fell out of love with boxing and just walked away from it. And, um, I, you know, I'll start fat for feeling like a pig in that. And I just thought, I'll go get back in the training. I'll, I'll go to my old man. He goes, you'll bet you fight again. I said, I won't. So I'll go back down the gym just to keep fit. And um, got it back in with um, trainer Steve Tyrrell now. And, uh, and yeah, met up with Carl. And he sorted me, sorted me right out. When the boxing bug gets you back again, a lot of fighters say this, you find it hard to, to get get away from it you're, you're going into the gym for mostly fitness reasons to tick over yeah. before you know it you're back in full yeah, camp it, it, training it, it, sparring it, ready to go it was never going to it was never going to go I was never going to go back to the gym and keep fit as, as much as I told myself <laughs> I wouldn't go back I was, it was always going to bring me back I come from a travelling family that's brought up the fight you know we, we learned to fight before we learned to speak this tournament has come a little bit out of the blue a lot of the fighters that have been in here maybe haven't had that mainstream attention they're just sort of starting out on their journeys yeah, yeah. who do you see will be the main threat for you in this tournament to be honest with you mate I, I couldn't care less who I fight I ain't, I've never I've never dodged no one and I, I never will you know I wouldn't never turn away from a fight and I believe that this format is going back to the amateurs as the amateurs you know I was, I was won two national titles got to the ABA final with one hand I beat the likes of Reese Bellotti Mitchell Smith I just think it, I'm, I'm, I'm all wrong for everyone in this tournament like it, it to work me out over three rounds, you know, I can switch, I can fight. I just think, I just think that I'm coming away with that twenty thousand pounds. I don't care what anyone's saying; that money's mine. It's quite interesting as well with the with the platform that they're bringing in, like Lad Bible and these other sort of internet platforms. It could be a great deal of exposure very quickly for the winner of this tournament. Does that add more excitement, more pressure to you? Um, you know, boxing's never been about the money for me because you know how hard it is to make money in boxing. Uh, it's just comes from the love of the sport, but you know, twenty thousand pounds, or you know, it is what it is. Um, if I, if I win it, it's a bonus. But if if like, it, it doesn't really make no difference to me. Uh, it's just, it, obviously it's great exposure with a uni lad, and I just. But like I said, I just can't see can't see myself not walking away with that money. A big tournament. It's a big chance for you to go out and get yourself in the mix. Thank you very much for your Apple TV, Jimmy. Good to get you back on again. Oh, yeah, on, what's it like working with, with big arms, Carl Greaves? How'd you find him? Uh, Carl's spot on, mate. I don't, you know, I'm not going to slag him off on TV because he'll probably watch this later. <laughs> he will 100% watch this later. He <laughs> mentioned his name in the video. He, he, he hears it from, from distance. Jimmy, thank you very much for your Apple TV, champ. I'll see you soon. Spot on, Cheers, James. Mate.